If you're not familiar with SVS as a company, they're based in Ohio and have an overarching company goal of providing sound that will surprise and delight anyone who wants great sound but does not have the means to buy the most expensive equipment available. They have had great success with this mantra, creating one of the most loyal customer followings in the home audio industry. This brief overview of the SVS Ultra Speakers will help you understand each model in the series so you'll be better informed on which models work best to provide great sound for your home theater or two-channel music system. If you want to read more on the SVS Ultra Speaker lineup, head over to audioadvice.com by clicking the link in the description. Along with this review, you'll find hundreds of other reviews, comparisons, buyer's guides, and much more. Now, let's get started. SVS has two series of speakers, the Ultra Series and the Prime Series. What is pretty neat is that the drivers are matched across both series. This offers up a lot of options like having your ultimate two-channel system with the Ultra Towers, then save some money on the rest of your theater using the Prime speakers. What makes the Ultra Series so unique is the fact that they were able to use so much of this high-performance technology in products that cost so little. While a great internal cabinet design is not something that is visible when you inspect product, it is critical to great sound. There are many things that can go wrong with a speaker cabinet that could negatively impact the sound quality. In the speaker world, it is a well-known practice to use internal bracing to produce a great speaker cabinet. Getting this properly designed requires access to an anechoic chamber where you can test how different models react. SVS uses just this method to produce their prototypes, which are optimized to come up with a production version. When you pick up even the smallest SVS Ultra bookshelf, you can feel how well it's made. One single small bookshelf speaker weighs almost 20 pounds because of the dense MDF they use. Another common trait of all SVS speakers, including their subwoofers, is how they mount the drivers to the front of the cabinet. The front baffle is made of an even denser piece of MDF. By having the interaction of two different thicknesses in a speaker cabinet, chances of unwanted resonances are greatly reduced. The cabinets also have chamfered edges, which are designed to help minimize diffraction. This high level of build quality not only gives the speakers a cool look, but also improves the imaging. We were very impressed with the fact that on all of the Ultra Series, except the bookshelf, the mid-range or mid-base drivers get their own separate enclosures to reduce any chance of interference. The bookshelf is a two-way design, which would not need a separate enclosure. You really can't get much better than the way SVS matched up the drivers in the Ultra Series. All Ultra Series speakers use the same one-inch aluminum dome tweeter with a custom-designed diffuser. The mid-base and or base drivers for the two-way models are all made of an identical composite glass fiber cone, and in all but the surround, they use a six-and-a-half-inch version to cover the mid-base or mid-range. The deep bass woofers and the Ultra Towers use a different material for the extreme low octaves. What's really interesting is that the Prime Series also uses the same tweeter as the Ultra Series. Matching the tweeters up is one of the most important parts in getting that fully integrated surround effect. There are a couple of more choices for surround or height speakers in the Prime Series you can mix with the Ultra Series for a seamless blend. Another part of the speaker not visible to the eye is the crossover. SVS uses heavy trace printed circuit boards, very high grade capacitors, and air core conductors in their crossovers. While some speaker vendors spend as little as possible on the crossovers, since you'll never see it, SVS builds it like something you would find in a $10,000 pair of speakers. Biowiring gives you a separate connection on the back of the speaker for the tweeter and another for the other drivers. All of the Ultra Series speakers give you the option of bi-wiring should you wish to give it a try. All models have the same two very nice finish options. You have a choice of a beautiful high gloss black or oak veneer with a black stain. Both of these are very well done and should give you an option for any environment. Although, if you are planning to use these speakers in a home theater configuration, be sure to keep in mind that gloss black is very reflective. We suggest you use the black satin finish for the center channel and any of the other speakers you imagine might reflect off of your home theater. The Ultra Tower speaker has a ton of technology for coming in under just $2,000 a pair. 
It is not a perfect rectangle as it uses an angled cabinet to help reduce internal reflections from the dual base drivers. SDS uses a three and a half way design for the Ultra Tower and an interesting configuration with a single aluminum dome tweeter sitting in between the two mid-range, mid-base drivers. SVS uses a pretty unique crossover method for the dual six and a half inch glass fiber cones. The top one crosses over to the tweeter at a much higher frequency than the lower one, which allows them to present a super stable three-dimensional image. We like the idea of using two smaller eight inch drivers as they can give you faster bass response in a tower speaker. This design allows the Ultra Tower to have a very impressive 3 dB down point of 28 Hertz. This is pretty deep for a modest sized tower speaker. You'll want to take the money you save on the Ultra Towers and make sure you have a good amp if you want to bring out their best performance. At a sensitivity of 88 dB, they can use some solid power if you're looking to produce big, room filling sound. The Prime Pinnacle might be a better choice for a small and medium sized room as it uses the same tweeter and glass fiber design for the mid-range, but with a more conventional woofer array. On the other hand, if you have a large space that allows you to get the speakers away from the walls, you'll love the impact the SVS towers can provide. Now, let's move on to the Ultra Bookshelf speakers. Put these guys on a nice speaker stand out in the room and for under $1,000 a pair, they are sure to impress. Their 3 dB down point is 45 Hertz, which is lower than a lot of towers out there. They are pretty large bookshelf at 15 inches tall and almost 11 inches deep. This ultra bookshelf is a two-way design with the SVS one inch aluminum dome and their six and a half inch glass fiber mid-range base driver. They are in a very solid cabinet with the SVS chamfered thick front baffle. Like the tower, you want a good amplifier for these as they are not super sensitive at 87 dB, but couple them with a nice little integrated amp, you will have a great two channel system that is warm and a lot of fun to listen to. Next up is the center channel. This is another model where the SVS mantra of providing a lot of value stands out again. The ultra center channel is a three way design with dual six and a half inch combination mid bass bass drivers a four inch glass fiber mid-range and their one inch aluminum dome tweeter. Each of the six and a half inch drivers is in its own independent cabinet with an individual port. SVS has also done a good job of keeping the cabinet size down for something with so many drivers. It's about eight inches tall, 11 inches deep and only about 22 inches wide. So it should fit in most environments. Finally, we have the surrounds. The Ultra Surround rounds out the Ultra lineup with a pretty flexible surround speaker. The Ultra Surround has a tapered cabinet with a tweeter and a five and a half inch woofer on each side. The SVS Ultra Surround is basically two speakers in one box. This means you can put them just a little bit behind your couch to aim the front firing drivers right at your ears. You can then wire them to send the main surround track that way and wire your rear surround channels to the back firing drivers. While this is not totally ideal for the rear standpoint, it solves a problem many people have where they just do not have the space for four surround speakers. You can then add a pair of two of the SVS Prime elevations to your sidewalls for a full Dolby Atmos experience. If you do this, we suggest you position the Ultra Surround closer to your ear level. We hope this brief overview has given you some ideas on which Ultra speakers might be the best fit for your system. Should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via phone, email, or online chat. And if you're in the Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina area, feel free to drop by one of our stores to experience the sound of SVS. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great home audio and theater content. We'll see you next time.